Good morning, fam. It is the day before my wedding, officially, Reagan and I's wedding. And getting ready to get in the Malibu. We're on our way up to get our hair cut. But my brother and I, my brother's one of my groomsmen, so my brother and I are actually headed up to get a haircut. Because as you can imagine, it's getting out of hand. Um, so <laughs> I gotta get cleaned up for the big day tomorrow. And I'm just gonna take the camera along with me and kind of just film a vlog of like just kind of the day before. The rehearsal today, we're gonna meet up with a couple of my buddies I haven't seen in a little while. Drive down there together, it's an hour away. Do the rehearsal, go to the rehearsal dinner. I'm just gonna kind of show you like some of the tidbits throughout the day. And we're gonna have some truck stuff in there. I feel like some of you guys might wanna see this. I know there's some people out there that have been watching me since I started my Brotherhood Outdoors channel when I was like 15 and uh, maybe you want to see this kind of stuff so I'm just trying to open up give you guys a little peek into my personal life here and um, hopefully you guys enjoy it BAM cleaned up all good to go short on the sides longer on top kind of the way it's supposed to look but it just never does because I don't get my hair maintained regularly because I always just wear a hat anyhow but yeah so it looks good so we're going to go to pick up the black truck the 2019 fifth gen and I got to get that thing cleaned up I got to get it sprayed down wiped down polished up just uh, decent for today and then uh, we're gonna go down to the rehearsal but before that we're probably gonna meet up with my buddy Joshua you guys may remember him from a long time ago 60 flow if you are an absolute OG subscriber and uh, he's gonna be coming from PA he's gonna get here around 2 o'clock today we're gonna hang out for a little bit and then we're gonna head down to the rehearsal together with Joshua Jeshua it's gonna be real fun and uh, you got little bro, little bro. He's gonna, he's one of the groomsmen too. So it's gonna be a good day. Real busy. Quick little stop at her house. Reagan isn't up here yet, but I went and got some brand new couches for Reagan and I's house, and they're actually pretty sweet. So I got these in here all set up, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna go down and see her at the rehearsal tonight. You guys are gonna see Reagan tonight. Um, she's not gonna be up here. She's gonna be down at the rehearsal. But after that, the next time you see us on camera, we're gonna be a married couple. Do not forget that you were down to the last five days to enter to win this truck less than a week and then it's over simple as this go down to the link in the description that says enter here click on it go to team-lmp.myshopify.com every fifteen dollars you spend is another automatic entry to enter to win this truck until july 14th at 11 59 p.m and then the giveaway is closed every fifteen dollars you spend throughout the term of the entire giveaway gets added up together divided out by 15 for your total amount of entries and you get credit for every single penny that you spent during the duration of the sweepstakes so do not procrastinate because just like mike david Harmon, jonathan noah all these guys that entered they entered each giveaway until they won. What if they wouldn't have entered that last giveaway that got them that winning entry? Just think about that. If Mike finally got sick of it and he's like, you know what, I entered five giveaways, I put a few bucks in each giveaway, I'm not gonna enter this last one, I'm done. He never would have won that dually. Just think about that, he never would have won if you wouldn't put that entry in. Enter while you can, guys. Every $15 is another entry to win. Information is in the description below. Now let's get the shop opened up. So we can get this dually fired up and pulled out. Big day, guys. Day before the wedding. Man, I love this truck. Hey, babe. Yeah. Real quick, do I wash my truck or not? It is pouring rain all day. No, I don't want to worry about it. Wait and do it tomorrow? Yeah. I was just thinking about that. I'm like, I should wash this truck. And then I'm looking outside now, and it just started pouring rain, and it's supposed to be raining for several hours. I love you, babe. But bye. So I was going to actually wash this truck and then it started pouring rain really bad. So I'm thinking I'm not going to wash it today unless the weather happens to clear up and I might actually just wait and do it tomorrow. Give you guys a little bit better look here of that exhaust tip on the back. There. You can see how it sits. It doesn't stick out like crazy. It's just a nice subtle exhaust tip. But uh, it's a good look for the truck right now. It'll get us by until we can get all the work done to it. Oh, look who it is. Six of flow. They mm. still ask about you, man. Really? They still ask about you sometimes. It's actually kind of funny. Huh. What happened to that Joshua kid that made the truck videos? <laughs> so anyways. First off, it's good to see you again. It's been, it's been a little while. 
Yeah. You haven't even met my fiance, have you? Mm -mm. Never even met her. He's nope. he's gonna be my best man at my wedding. So Josh was here. Like I said, this is kind of like a day before the wedding, wedding eve, I guess you could say. Yeah. Video. First though, what's your reaction to this truck? First time seeing it in person. Looks way bigger in person than it does on any picture or video. <laughs> like, I'm a big dude, and like, it's a bigger truck. <laughs> this thing's like. How tall are you? Six two. Yeah, I'm almost six three. Almost six three. And this, this truck's just a tank, man. I guess it's just So anyways, but he hasn't seen the compound turbo truck, so we're gonna go show him that. So we're gonna show him the blue truck. Oh yeah? That thing is sick. So clean. Have you ever seen a 97 so clean? <laughs> Forces on a truck in person? No. That is crazy. Look at the frame. There's nothing on that. I know, dude. Trust me. I'm trying to tell these people. Some people think I'm bluffing, but I'm like, dude, it doesn't get any cleaner. No, it really doesn't. That is crazy. Pop the hood. Pull the hood latch. And then this is where it gets fun. You got the big T3B turbo, you got your HX35, your wastegate set at 50 pounds of boost, your head studs, your valve springs, your push rods, full cut delivery valves, injectors, I mean just everything. New aftermarket intercooler. There would be so much time and money put into freaking getting this thing where like, like he asked me, he's like, how much money did the guy have in the truck? I'm like, honestly, I don't even know. I said, I would bet you every penny worth of probably 40 grand. I don't even want to know. Like it's, that's... Between, you know, paint job, bumper customization, I mean, parts under the hood, parts in the transmission, transmission build, I mean, just everything. All that stuff, just, it's just crazy. Final impressions, in person. I think I should win the giveaway. Which, by the way, he can't enter the giveaway. <laughs> He's joking. But yeah, man, I mean, this thing, like, the new truck is awesome. But in terms of what's more fun to drive, it'd be hard to beat this. Okay. Way, way too hard to beat this. Here's what I like about this. Over your limited. Yeah. That's what I like about this. This thing is small and compact. That limited looks like you're gonna freaking hit every single car you drive by. <laughs> I like that the tires aren't like 47 inches tall. It's a nice and aggressive it's daily drive. Yeah, it's like it's like truck. You know, if I could drive that, like, maybe I'm gonna get it for cheap. <laughs> Buy it for cheap before you give it away. Yeah, guys, so that's just his little reaction to this truck. Just somebody else that's not me, kind of their opinion and how they think the truck looks. You know, appearance-wise, like in person, it's just, it's hard to beat. Remember, and while you can, five days left. We're on our way down. I got Jeshua, his girlfriend. We got Joshua, my little brother, to the rehearsal and then the rehearsal dinner. And I'm just going to let you guys kind of hear their input because I know there's a lot of young audience out there. And uh, you might be thinking like, dude, you're crazy getting married so young and stuff. But I want to see kind of like their opinion and kind of like what their thoughts are of like seeing how we were as buds and hanging out and going fishing and hunting all this stuff to like, holy crap, he's getting married. So like, what's your guys' thoughts on that kind of thing? And I'll let them take it from here. First of all, it's crazy because me and Malika have been best buds since we were born. Like literally have pictures of us running around diapers on the beach. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> and but, strollers like looking at each other. Right, and if you would ask me a year ago if this dude's gonna be married, I'd be like, nah. Like here he is, and now we're all adults now, and he's big LNP, and he's got a not wife yet, but basically getting. By the time they see yeah, this, he'll be by the time you see us now, he's got a wife, and like it's nuts. It's pretty crazy. I never would have. I did not. It just it just doesn't. You don't. You I don't, don't realize that time's here until it's like holy crap, it's right. here. But like I was telling Reagan the other day, I said, you know how you sometimes think like, oh, someday I'm gonna have a family, I'm gonna have a house, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have that, and like, and then you're like, wait, the future is today. Like, this, this is happening right now. You know what I mean? But anyways, what's your thoughts on it, Joshua? Like, we're gonna do just as much with him now as we were then, basically. As long as you know it's the right one. <laughs> now, when him and Reagan started dating, this was like, Three weeks ago? No. <laughs> but then like three and a half months later, they said they were getting married and I was like, holy crap. Like that dude just figured his whole life out in about three weeks. Three weeks and he's kind of a joke, just so you guys know. Yeah, not actually three weeks. It doesn't seem like that long ago where we were waking up every morning fishing. And then like, as time went by, we matured really quick. Like my man's growing up. <laughs> no, but like, 
I know, like, he'll make time for all of us still. Like, he still enjoys hunting, fishing, hanging out with his bros. And his future wife, fiance, has a passion Thank for you. trucks. So we can all, like, do truck stuff and together. Hunting. And hunting. She said she wants to go on hunts for vacations. That's what she said. She's like, oh, Ugh. in the fall, we're going on hunts for vacations. We're not going She's to the beach. She's the one. I was I'm like... I'm down for that. Oh my goodness. As long as you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, I was all, I mean, in high school, I like had like little girlfriends here and there, you know, and Malcolm was always like, I got time for that crap. Like always hunting, working on his YouTube, like he had Brotherhood Outdoors before this and he just was grinding and I was messing around with girls and blah, blah. Well, anyway, long story short, we always knew that like when Malachi found a girl, everybody's like, when he finds someone, he's just going to pick one and, and that's going to be the one and they're just going to get married. Like it's just going to happen like that. And lo and behold, he finds this girl and everyone's like, uh-oh, 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 boom, she's got a ring. <laughs> and we were like, yep, it happened. But so basically we always knew that like when he finds his one, that was going to be the one. Overall, we're happy for him. Glad he's happy and glad he found the woman of his dreams. Here we are. I don't know where we're supposed to park because there's not a lot of room. This is the destination. I don't know where we're supposed to park, to be honest. I really don't know where we're supposed to I park. I just go right in the grass. I was ahead of my dad the whole time and I missed the turn. I what he was going to say. Dad, how did you get here first? I have a better truck. That's how. No, I freaking missed my turn. I was like, two minutes, two minutes, missed the turn. I'm like, oh, six minutes, I had to go around. I'll tell you what, because your truck is clearly slower, it might suit me better, straight up trade. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. No, I really didn't. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I did this with Joshua today earlier. I'm like, we had to refilm stuff because I didn't get refilmed. So how are you feeling about tomorrow, Reagan? Pretty good. Fair. Don't, you don't have any second thoughts about me, right? No, I don't. <laughs> not at the moment. Not at the moment. You <laughs> You'll let me know. Let's hope not. <laughs> We're all going to head out to dinner, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Tomorrow's a big day. Thank you so much. Don't forget to enter that giveaway. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Peace.